But I had a couple of tips always. If you go into a room and uh, the assistant is not there, nobody is serving coffee, the woman have got the tendency to serve coffee for everyone, even if she's the most senior person in the room then don't, because automatically someone will think that you're not in the grade or the position you're in. That's something I've learned. Don't be the one to take the minutes. You probably notice that, I'm sure, in your working life, that the men will go around, everybody's looking, who's going to take the minutes, and all those eyes fall on you. People tend to judge you when you are confident and when you talk about things you're passionate about. And I think that confidence in women, it's something that we find difficult. And we get confidence by putting ourselves out of comfort zone, taking risk, and realizing that actually we're quite good at it. What I would advise as well, if you want to be perceived as knowledgeable, you want to be perceived as serious, you want to be taken credibly, then talk about something that you are, that matters to you, that uh, makes you come alive, and that you're passionate about. Going to the top is important. That's where you make decisions, that's where you can influence. And I think we should not uh, limit ourselves as women. We should really aim as high as we feel is right for us because it's really where we can write the future, we can change the world a little bit and we can have impact. Networking for, for women is important. We need to help each other. We are a small community of uh, women in business. Uh, we're all trying to do things the way we believe is right to change the world a little bit uh, and we need each other.